really cool things about Argenis that I want you to know before he takes over is that Argenis uh, immigrated here from Venezuela. He's a remarkable young man. He came here basically not speaking hardly any English whatsoever. He learned English on his own. I think you were doing mechanical engineering down there? Yes, I was actually doing two years of mechanical engineering. Right, when he came here to the States. And uh, what happened was he was doing the mechanical engineering and then he loved solder clean so much he went on the road with us and did like, uh, what, 100 plus? 100 plus deployments for, yeah. 100, 100 plus deployments that's, uh, that he's done in the field. So he's quite a bit of experience in these AMR technologies. And when we were approached by Atlantis, or actually the master distributor of Atlantis here in the United States about doing deployments for them, and we had to put this machine here, the first person that I wanted to get his hands on it was this young man. He's very, very talented, very talented about technology and how things work. And so what I'm excited about today is letting you, uh, you see what the Atlantis does, and our Genesis is gonna show you all the details and hopefully uh, you get a lot of benefit from this video and learning about the Atlantis uh, CR700. Yep. Is that right? Yes. All right, so with that, um, I'm going to hand it off to our Dennis Wong. Thank you for the introduction, Richard. Hello, my name is our Dennis Wong, and I work here in CyberClean System as a robotics application engineer. In today's videos, I'll be walking you through the amazing CR700 Alados machine, which is a fully autonomous scrubber robot. But before we get there, I would like to explain or briefly explain to you about what fully autonomous means for CyberClean system. So we use the term autonomous as a measurement level to represent the independence that the robot has from the operator to perform or do a designated test. A more generalized way to visualize this concept is by saying that the less interaction from the operator is needed, the higher the level of the autonomy of the machine. So now you might be wondering, what is this important to me? Well, it is important because in a real world application, the gap between a fully autonomous and a partially autonomous machine is really and makes a huge difference in the field. We have found sometimes um, robots have been advertised at, as fully autonomous when they are indeed actually just partially autonomous, or what we call here a COBA. We will also have a video about a cobot in the future, and we will show you an example of what a cobot is. Stay tuned in the channel, and you will see. So, coming back with our little friend over here, for the CR700 Alatus, the operator-user interaction after the machine has been programming using their software is quite minimal, and that's the main reason why we consider that allowed us to be a fully autonomous machine. I will, I will be walking through you uh, this machine and the features and capabilities that it has in the rest of the video. As a first feature, the Alato CR700 has a service station which is capable of performing the basic preparation functions needed for any scrubber at the beginning and end of the cleaning session. These functions are, first, after the robot has stuck itself to the service station, the service station is able to charge the robot batteries. The service station as well comes with a water control system that is able to pump out of the robot the dirty water collected during the cleaning session. And lastly, the same water system that is able to pump out the water is able to fill it up the robot with clean water and therefore prepare the robot for the next cleaning session. These three functions might look quite simple, but they are a huge deal for any autonomous scrubber robot, mainly because this means no operator interaction is needed at the beginning nor end of the previously scheduled cleaning session, and therefore the operator interaction time is gonna be reduced. 
As a second feature, we got the sensors and navigation software system. The latest Seeger 700 uses a bundle of sensors to navigate successfully around different types of areas. The first and the least of these sensors is a 3D camera that is placed right in front in the front face of the robot. Secondly, it has a laser scanner, better known as a LiDAR, placed in the front face right below the 3D camera. And lastly, it has three ultrasonic sensors placed on the right, on the left, and the back side of the robot. All these three types of sensors work together with the CR700 operating system to orientate and fail to navigate around different types of environments. As a third feature, we got the scheduling feature, which is a very important for any fully autonomous robot. This case, the CR700 Lattice operating system comes with an easy to program scheduling function where operators will have the option to schedule different cleaning sessions. Inside the scheduling function, we can see that the operator will be able to name the cleaning sessions, select a time, choose the map or cleaning program desired, and lastly, choose the days of the week. As a plus function, it also comes with the possibility of changing the cleaning parameters inside the scheduling function, such as solution levels, water levels, pad rotation speed, and vacuum suction percentage. Lastly, reporting and notifications. The CR700 operating system comes with a notification function that can be set up directly in the robot UI, for which providing an email address is a requirement for receiving such notifications. Um, it is important to highlight that this function is not limited to just one email address at a time, but it can send notifications to multiple emails at the same time too. So here we have an example of how the successful notification looks like. We can see here how it shows crucial data of the cleaning session, such as start time, end time, total cleaning time, estimate cleaning area, and so more. This information makes a huge difference when an optimization needs to be done to the map or cleaning session. Also, if you want to learn a little bit more about the optimization process, check our services at cybercleansystem.com for more information and how we can help you. Now that you know why we consider the CR700 a lattice an autonomous or fully autonomous machine, let me show you now another feature that makes this machine Right, and that is adjustability. But specifically speaking, the adjustability of the map editor. Let's now and let me show you what are those features and what I mean by this. So now let's take a look at the map editor and the functions it offers. The first one I would like to highlight is that it comes with the advantage of the point-to-point -point mapping process, which is highly adjustable and adds flexibility to the routes. As you can see here, I can easily move different points of the routes if I want, and also I can just add another point if I need it, as well as I can just erase the point if I want, which it makes really flexible in terms of the route that I have. This is an important feature for optimization as, for example, if a map needs to be optimized, it will be enough with just removing a couple of points or just add another route and, as well, just move the points around or the points that are making troubles. Second, the editor counts with a flexible program space to place an interchange cleaning test making it possible to interchange cleaning test sequence. In this case, the sequence goes like this. It's going to go to the start point. It's going to undock. It will run the route number one, which is this one. Right after that, it will run route number two, which is this one. And lastly, 
it will go to the service station and dump the dirty water and do all the service station process. So, if the operator wants to run, like for example, a different route first, it is enough to just place the route in a higher position of the program space list, and that will basically change the order at which the machine is going to process the test. This adds another layer of flexibility and possibilities to the map making process, which is really important in this. Third, the route oriented program space makes it possible and easy enough to adjust parameters for individual cleaning tests. For instance, for the run cleaning test number two that we have here, there are parameters such as the vacuum and scrub. They can be set up as an on and off in multiple routes. There is as well another property on the right side of the user interface that is maximum speed and can be changed where 0.8 meters per second is the maximum speed they can have. There is also for a different cleaning test such as undocking where the undock distance can be changed as well. Lastly, the CR700 comes with the option to select between stop or get back to the service station when the machine finds an issue or a problem in the environment. This one can be found right below of the program space list and it can be disactivate or activate depending on what the operator wants. Also, you have two status, which is one stop and drive back to the service station. So these four functions working together makes the CR700 Lattos decently adjustable and also opens the possibilities of applications for this robot in a high range of different environments. In this video, we went through the main features of the CR700 Lattos, such as adjustability and level of autonomy. That's going to be all for this video, but we would like to know if this was helpful for you. So please leave it in the comments. And also, um, maybe what do you think about the Alato CR700? Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.